Autism is like life. You could let it darken your soul, taint your personality beyond the point of restoration, giving you a reason to embrace the sweet kiss of death. But don't be fooled. You could also use it as a pair of wings, to soar to heights of which you never even knew the existence. Unfortunately, that's often not our choice to make. It is a choice made by society, by attitudes, or by our perceptions. So I'm just your average teenager on the block. I like to stay up late, so if you can imagine how much I hate Monday mornings. I have friends. But guess what? I'm one of those crazy few people who still doesn't play Fortnite. Seriously. But there is... <laughs> but, but there is one other thing that you should know about me. I have high-functioning autism. Aha! I can already hear the conclusions being jumped to, but bear with me, for I'm about to tell you what autism is. Now, autism is defined as a <clears throat> mental condition that affects the way the mind works, usually making it more introspective. It's defined by something called the triad of impairments, which consists of social communication, social interaction, and, you guessed it, not me, imagination. So, if you have a problem with all three of these things, then your class is autistic. But is it really that simple? You see, autism affects over 700,000 people in the UK alone. So narrowing it down to just three things makes this definition rather inadequate, don't you think? Good reason not to trust Wikipedia. <laughs> now, one basic mistake that a lot of people make is to immediately link autism with retardation. This view is both ignorant and, dare I say, rather stupid. Let me give you an example. So about five months back, I was in the school canteen, which was packed beyond compare, so I took a seat next to a group of girls, not with the intention of speaking or anything else. Don't be fooled, don't be fooled. <laughs> and I heard one of them talk about a girl in the CSD, or autistic community, or whatever they call it these days. I heard one of them say, they always group us with her because we're nice to her, talking about a girl in there, of course. My attention was quickly aroused. Another said, yeah, well, she can read and write, you know, not word for word. Then another said, and I quote, yeah, well, she's not as dumb as you'd think. And as you can expect, that's when I got up and left. How common it is, how easy it is to immediately link autism with idiocy, or as that girl said, being done. But I have something for you. We autistic people are more than just labels, more than just a clump of terms that no one even really knows the meaning of. We're more varied than you can even begin to fathom, and we have more sides than a diamond in the light. And like a diamond, we can shine if cut well or stay dull if left unattended, or misunderstood. We all have the same needs. We all need love, we all need education, we all need compassion, but we also need some sort of motivation to keep going, without which, ultimately, we're nothing. So if you've ever been tempted to think of someone with autism as being less, then I invite all of you to think again. <laughs>